Welcome everyone uh, to this uh, Meet the Dean session. And uh, my name is Kinshuk. I am a Dean of the College of Information. And uh, uh, this session is really going to be a very informal session. I'm here to answer any questions, uh, any clarifications, and more importantly, to get your feedback on any and everything uh, that is related to the, your studies, your, the college, the departments, uh, anything that uh, feedback you want to provide. Because one of the things that uh, as a college, uh, we are very much focused on is uh, uh, our students. So as a university, we have focus on students, student success. That's our uh, uh, you know, part of the uh, core of the strategic plan. Uh, but uh, uh, we are uh, looking at going one step further, putting a student first. Now, what does that mean, student first? Basically, uh, a student success is not something that can happen uh, if we just talk about students as a one big population. How can we ensure individual student success? And that's where student first comes in. Student first is basically understanding individual students' needs, what you are looking for, uh, what your aspirations are, how you want to be successful, and then what we can do to provide that success to you. So that's really what I see as uh, a student first. A uh, number of different things have happened uh, in, in, in past uh, one year um, uh, since I did my last uh, Meet the Dean session. And uh, so um, I would like to give a little bit on uh, 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 on uh, the different uh, highlights that we have in the college. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, got approval for undergraduate degree in data science, the Bachelor of Science in Data Science, and that's uh, a STEM degree. Uh, we also have, uh, as you know, master's degree in data science, uh, and we also have a PhD concentration in data science in our uh, um, uh, uh, information science uh, degree program. So we now have a full, um, uh, uh, you can say, path for uh, data science for starting from bachelor's to master's to PhD, uh, PhD concentration. Another uh, highlight is that uh, we had uh, uh, the uh, COI REU, and, uh, the uh, undergraduate uh, research uh, um, initiative. Uh, uh, we had very successful uh, uh, session for that in this summer. A uh, number of uh, uh, undergraduate students took part uh, with Dr. Junhua Ding, Dr. Jan Ping Chen, uh, and, uh, and others. And this is a very competitive undergraduate op opportunity, and this is going to return uh, back uh, in next summer. So we are expecting that uh, uh, we will have uh, many more our undergraduate students taking part in uh, uh, research activities in the college. Um, we are also expanding uh, uh, our um, uh, faculty. So we have number of uh, new faculty hired uh, uh, this year. Uh, we have Dr. Taraka Rama in linguistics, uh, uh, Dr. Sarah Iva, uh, Evans in um, uh, IES, uh, Dr. Lingji Hong in IES, the data science, uh, and Dr. Uh, Regina Kaplan Rakowski in uh, learning technologies, uh, and Dr. Yong Jin Lee also in learning technologies. So uh, these are the uh, new faculty members that uh, we hire who are going to be contributing towards uh, um, uh, you know, quality of our uh, instruction. Uh, we are still hiring. So we have six positions currently open uh, for hire. We have uh, one position that is focused on data science and health informatics together. Another position that's coming up soon is uh, in uh, information science, uh, archive studies uh, and management. Uh, we are also hiring a lecturer position in data science, an associate professor in learning technologies, a lecturer in learning technologies, and also uh, another faculty position in school libraries. So we have a number of different positions that are coming up uh, that will provide uh, a wider um, uh, focus on, um, uh, on the uh, uh, curriculum the courses that we want to teach, the uh, number of courses, the, uh, the width of courses that we want to teach, uh, that's going to be possible with, the, with uh, these new uh, people that we are hiring. Uh, for students, uh, a number of things are happening uh, directly for students. As uh, uh, you may be aware that we have a new doctoral office space uh, for doctoral students uh, at Discovery Park, the room 
D208B uh, that is uh, available for uh, students to study and to do collaborative uh, uh, research. Uh, uh, and uh, all residential students, uh, uh, if uh, they should already have the uh, their access code, uh, but if not, uh, then uh, 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 they can contact the dean's office. Uh, uh, tutoring available. There is also peer tutoring available for uh, our master students. Uh, so number of different resources that university is providing for the success of our students. Uh, we also have a career center at Discovery Park uh, uh, for our college and for engineering and uh, also uh, a career development specialist, uh, uh, Laura Gatsa. Uh, she is uh, visiting uh, Discovery Park uh, on a regular basis. So if you would like to uh, discuss with uh, uh, the career opportunities or uh, get advice on, on that front, then uh, we do have resources available. Uh, so just uh, reach out to Career Center at Discovery Park. And uh, or if you don't know where it is, then uh, your department uh, office or even dean's office will be able to uh, provide you the information. Uh, we also would like you to uh, be connected with uh, um, uh, with us, with uh, uh, other students, also with alumni. So there is a um, uh, LinkedIn uh, 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 group that uh, I would like you to join. And let me put the post the link here in the chat box for that. Uh, just click on it and like it and uh, um, uh, jo join this group. And, and then uh, you will see a lot of different things that are happening there. Uh, we regularly post uh, uh, different useful information in that uh, particular group. And um, also, um, we would like you to share your successes uh, with us. So things like, uh, you know, your academic victories, your uh, internships, uh, any internships you received, or if you are a doctoral or master's student, if you have any paper accepted in any conference, uh, any achievements that you have for example if uh, you get uh, elected as uh, as director of your association or uh, uh, or anything uh, any those uh, uh, successes then uh, we would like to hear uh, uh, about you and uh, uh, we have uh, also channels for example college news newsletter where we would like to highlight you uh, we, uh, on our website we would like to celebrate in our facebook linkedin account and so on so uh, please uh, uh, contact me. Um, uh, I can type here my uh, email address. Okay, and uh, please go ahead and uh, uh, send me a message. Um, um, and uh, uh, I would love to be in touch uh, with you. So at this point, I would uh, like to open up the um, uh, session for uh, uh, any questions you have, I would like to hear your feedback, any questions I can answer, or any resources that you are looking for that I can uh, 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 I can provide you. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, is everyone okay if I go first? Go ahead. I'll go, go ahead. first. Yeah, I'll <laughs> go first. So one of the questions that I was um, going to ask is, um, do we have any opportunities for research collaboration and where would students find these resources? Okay, very good question. Research is something that is very important um, at every level. Means uh, it's not just for uh, uh, masters and PhD, but also for undergraduate students, very important. And where it starts, it starts with the professors. Okay, our professors are the ones that uh, get you on the research path. So I would really recommend students to start looking at the profiles of our, uh, you know, your professors in uh, uh, college website, department website. If you just go to uh, C S. Uh, uh, ci.unt.edu and there you will see link to three departments and you can uh, go there and check out the profiles of each professor and see how their work how their research aligns with your aspirations okay what kind of things you are interested in uh, what kind of research maybe you uh, if you have been involved in a project maybe an assignment that you did uh, that had uh, uh, something uh, new in it and uh, that uh, aligns with the research that they are doing what kind of grants they have what kind of publications they are uh, doing uh, and then contact those professors that, oh, I saw that uh, you have written paper in this area or you have this grant, I would love to contribute. I would love to get uh, be part of it. That's the first place to start uh, uh, your research endeavors, okay? And then with that, 
you go ahead and uh, ask them okay are there any internships that uh, you can suggest me because our professors are also very much connected with the uh, with industry with other opportunities for internships so, so that that's how i would say to start your research journey another thing is that uh, when you see the papers and other things that our professors are writing go through them and see if what how much can you understand where uh, you, you know uh, whether you have any doubts and asking specific questions to the professors about their research gets them interested about what you are what you are trying to achieve so i suggest that you start there um, uh, talking to your professors and uh, looking at uh, what their profile is and how it matches with what you want to do okay thank you um i have another question sure it's are there any upcoming projects happening within the college information that you're very excited about? Oh, number of them, number of them. Right. So uh, certainly, as I mentioned, uh, uh, we have number of areas that are uh, um, uh, really uh, growth areas, the uh, uh, evolving areas. One of them is, uh, for example, uh, data science. Uh, and uh, that, that is something, uh, uh, if you look at where our university is located, uh, the whole, uh, you know, uh, Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, uh, the um, uh, the area that is the fastest growing high tech industry in whole United States means uh, more than Silicon Valley, and a uh, um, um, lot of high tech industry are bringing their headquarters or research centers in this area, and uh, we are looking at partnerships with those uh, uh, different industries and organizations so that uh, our students can have opportunities to do internships, uh, can have uh, can do different. Projects projects and so on. So that's uh, uh, one area that uh, uh, we are very much excited about. Another is uh, um, uh, computational linguistics. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's an area that uh, uh, is uh, uh, another uh, growth area and uh, we are very excited in uh, promoting. That is not to say that our other areas that are also uh, very strong areas means we have, you know, a, a ranked program in health informatics. We have very strong information science program. We have got uh, uh, a new degree, bachelor's degree in uh, light, uh, learning technologies with a STEM focus uh, and all these programs. Uh, uh, so we have got existing programs and then we have new programs coming in uh, and uh, uh, we would like to, uh, 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 you know, uh, work with outside external stakeholders like industry and other uh, organizations to make sure that our programs stay current, our programs uh, stay ahead of the curve not just that they are uh, relevant for tomorrow or um, uh, in one year or two year time, but 10 years time because our students, uh, when they graduate, they, their degrees need to keep relevant. So how do we make sure that we teach them, uh, we provide them the skills that are valid, that are applicable even years after uh, they have graduated uh, uh, right. uh, from us. So that's the kind of uh, uh, approach that we have. Another exciting thing that uh, uh, I started with it before, and that is uh, uh, putting focus, real focus on our student, uh, student first. And that's where the kind of advising we need to provide, kind of curriculum that we need to have. Uh, we have very strong online, uh, um, uh, online programs, but how do we make sure that uh, their quality Stay, uh, it stays uh, ahead of um, uh, um, uh, to, to provide our students uh, uh, really what they need to have, but also improve that. Uh, and again, that's where the feedback from a student is what uh, I'm very much uh, uh, interested in. We get also feedback from other uh, stakeholders so like industry and so on, but student feedback is very, very important. So the kind of uh, uh, activities that we need to do to provide the students uh, uh, what they need uh, uh, to get the best success uh, in their degree and then in their career is another exciting thing that I'm uh, that, that I would like right. to highlight here. Yeah. Thank you. That was Welcome. that's a lot of things that are changing. Yes, that's true, and uh, it's changing for good. <laughs> yeah, it's changing for the changing better. Changing for better. <laughs> yes, and then my final question would be. Um, well, you kind of already answered this, but it's like concerning about the trends in library and information science and the library and information science fields that are happening that you think that students should be aware of as they're going through their program. Yeah, so there, uh, again, thank you for this question. That's a very important question because the whole area of library information is changing. 
and libraries are not how they used to be 20 years ago and the expectations of uh, this whole discipline is changing and there is a reason why we change the department name means department used to be called department of library information sciences and now it's called department of information science because right. library science is not a siloed area library science interacts with lots of other areas so for example data science and library science have a lot of interaction information science and library science have a lot of interaction and how do we look at that how do we uh, provide our students the skills that libraries now need for example the, uh, the lot of online resources are becoming available how do we search how do we index them in the way that they uh, they are meaningful to us uh, rather than how do we catalog uh, uh, um, the books so, i mean that's also important but that's not the only important thing and how do we start looking at the wider data that is becoming available that is becoming information how do we con uh, uh, convert into knowledge so the kind of skills that we need uh, that's where uh, uh, the actual curriculum needs to be you know updated and that's what our uh, um, uh, experts in uh, for professors in uh, department of information science are doing uh, so yes a lot of changes are happening and a uh, lot of uh, new uh, um, uh, uh, ideas are evolving uh, that are becoming curriculum and as you will see uh, the courses that are changing um, you will see all those changing uh, ch changes happening and come more coming up okay thank you so much for your answers thank you. Um, Anyone else would like to ask any question? Uh, hello, sir. Uh, yes. I had a question. Uh, sure. We already discussed about research and internships and to look under professors in the first yeah. place. Uh, but I just wanted to know if College of Information in particular has any connections with the industry where we can the students can actually go and complete their practicum or internships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, certainly we have a uh, lot of connections where our professors are partnering with our with industry and again uh, the connections they always happen at professors level rather than at uh, at uh, at uh, college level so we, uh, the, uh, it, uh, having college uh, agreement with um, uh, industry that does not in our uh, experience result in sustained research experience it's it becomes more like a bureaucratic process and therefore what we have done is we uh, our professors are in uh, in contact with industry they do projects with industry and that's where students can get involved so that's why uh, as i mentioned before the best is to really start working with uh, with professors and yes our professors and number of professors have grants uh, they work with industry um, we have a lot of alums also who also provide internships uh, uh, so okay. again those are again working with professors because they mm -hmm. all uh, you know i'm pretty sure as you are studying you are looking at okay which professors you can really work mm -hmm. with which professors you like and i hope not but maybe which professors we don't like that much you know <laughs> that that can happen too but i hope right. not <laughs> but the thing is once you graduate then you will still be in in contact with those professors uh, uh, who you really you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, learn from and then as you go further in your career and then you have internship possibilities and uh, then you will be working with those professors oh I, you know what uh, do you have any uh, a student who you would like to recommend so that's how those uh, relationships work so that's mm -hmm. why we always keep our faculty our professors in the center of this process rather than right. becoming an administrative or bureaucratic uh, mm -hmm. um, material okay got you perfect thank you so much i appreciate the assistance welcome. anyone else would like to ask any question i'm just personally here seeing what's all happening and trying to um get a grip on the college of information because it's been a couple years since i've been there so <laughs> Okay. If you have any question for me, Appreciate please ask. Or, or uh, what I would also like to uh, uh, do is to uh, not just questions, but any feedback that you would like to give. Any feedback on courses, any feedback on, or uh, your advice. How, how do you see uh, uh, what kind of activities we should be taking? What should we be improving? Um, or anything that you like that we should keep? Um, I would love to hear every, uh, any and every of those things. Okay, um, I'm going to go first because my laptop is about to die, but oh. I really, yeah, I know, if I disappear, that's what happened. But um, 
I really enjoy the fact that I'm allowed to do the, the entire program online. It really helps for me because I need to work. Yeah. And it allows me to be active, like, you know, earn experience towards my future career without having to say, oh, I can't really, uh, I can't really apply myself to and earn this experience because I, I have to go to class or something like that. So I really love that we are allowed to do online uh, master's program. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay. <laughs> See you. Okay. Thank you for the feedback. Any other feedback anybody would like to give? And I see that we have a number of uh, uh, participants. Uh, uh, at the moment, there are 11 of them. So I would like to hear uh, from everybody. And uh, yes, you, um, most of the microphones are muted. So if you want to talk, then please unmute your microphone so that uh, we can hear. <laughs> or you can just type the message if you would like. That's, that's fine too. If not, then let me uh, tell something about, uh, you know, uh, how to approach uh, uh, the studies means one of the things uh, uh, that I hear quite a lot is the, uh, the time management and that, that is that is critical, uh, especially as you go for research uh, side of the degrees, um, then it becomes, uh, uh, you know, self time management uh, even more critical. Um, leaving things to towards the end uh, actually does not really uh, really work. Uh, regular commitment is what gets the most success. So uh, starting early and then uh, you know we all have life means we all have so many different things going on. So yes, it's not possible to put hours and hours and hours in one thing, but not leaving everything that okay i will spend one whole day and uh, and leaving it for uh, last something some things happen so it's very important um, that uh, regular studies regular um, uh, commitment uh, regular hours uh, uh, every day sometime would always help in uh, uh, keeping studies uh, uh, you know at par with uh, with your expectations so uh, that is something I think we all need to uh, look at and I see quite a lot of students struggle um, because they um, yeah they do not put regular time on on the study so that's something I think we all need to uh, remember another thing I would like to add uh, is uh, preparing for uh, uh, for the current job market uh, what is needed there means how much you know about what kind of job you are planning to get what kind of job you are aspiring for or what kind of job you want to give to others if you want to become an entrepreneur and are you getting the kind of skills that uh, uh, for becoming entrepreneur uh, so those are the kind of things that i think uh, it, it it helps to think from the beginning uh, and then looking at uh, uh, what new areas are coming up in, in, in the uh, field that uh, that you want to pursue. Uh, are you keeping a tab on uh, on the uh, innovations that are happening in that area? All those kind of things are uh, are very important. Uh, uh, preparing for, for example, if you want to get a job, then preparing for uh, for interview. What uh, kind of skills they are looking for? What kind of skills uh, you are currently getting, and where are the gaps? Uh, are you uh, preparing for um, uh, showing your best uh, during the interview? We have resources available. We see University Career Center uh, has a lot of resources to prepare yourself for uh, uh, for for jobs. So that's something um, I think uh, every one of us needs to uh, look at uh, when uh, uh, you know you are preparing for uh, uh, going to the current job market. Any any other questions from anyone? If not, then uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Anybody would like to? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I just had a question regarding yes. internship and career fairs. I know College of Engineering hosts a couple of them. Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge, I don't. Uh, I don't really think I'm aware of College of Information having any. So, would there be uh, 
any chances in the future where we can have career fairs? Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, thanks for this question. Certainly, uh, a university as a whole uh, hosts a large number of career fairs, and uh, many of them are at uh, at uh, uh, Discovery Park. Uh, and uh, yeah, certainly, in the College of Engineering uh, has major share uh, in that. But uh, men, uh, those career fairs also have industries that uh, are relevant to College of Information. Mm -hmm. We are currently uh, uh, in talks with uh, um, with the career um, uh, career center uh, that uh, uh, a separate fair for College of Information is mm -hmm. warranted. And the thing is, means. Uh, uh, the industries that uh, um, that our students go to are also quite uh, uh, interesting for uh, um, students in college of engineering, especially computer science and and so on. And therefore, um, uh, trying to get separate career fair, uh, we are still looking at whether that's a viable thing uh, or not. Right. But uh, uh, we also are uh, exploring whether uh, in the career fairs that college of engineering uh, has made a share. Can we invite more industry that are relevant to our, our students? So yes, right. uh, that is something we are already uh, uh, working on. And uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, as you see, uh, uh, you know, further career fairs coming in, you will be seeing uh, more uh, industry that are relevant to our College of in, uh, Information students. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, then. Uh, um, any feedback that uh, you would like to give uh, uh, on uh, any of the courses you are taking or the program itself or uh, any any other feedback uh, uh, that would help us move forward that would help you uh, to have the best uh, from your degree uh, i would love to hear that too um, you can tell me now or um, anytime if you would like to uh, connect uh, i have put my uh, email address uh, ci-dean at unt.edu um, um, uh, 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 always see that as an invitation, open invitation to contact me and uh, I, I, I would love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So have a wonderful time and uh, I'm looking forward to having these sessions uh, at uh, a regular basis. I was hoping one to do in a spring, last spring, but for some reason I, uh, I was not able to, but uh, now uh, I have this and uh, I hope to continue hopefully every semester. Okay, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.